Over a decade ago, the Space Shuttle was retired after over a hundred different missions. Despite a few flaws, the spacecraft was considered a marvel of technology and helped create the International Space Station and other valuable space infrastructure. Unfortunately, multiple events proved that the shuttle was not quite safe enough to continue flying humans. Today, in 2023, we could be only months away from the first launch of a new generation of space planes. Dream Chaser, while much smaller, is trying to provide a rapidly reusable platform with other benefits thanks to its unique design. For around 20 years now, this vehicle has been in development, going through different tests, manufacturing processes, and designs, just to name a few. Between its folding wings, multiple variants, and new heat shield design, Dream Chaser has a lot going for it and could become a primary way to access space. Here I'll go more in depth into the exact design of Dream Chaser, what the first launch will look like, what to expect in the coming months, and more. Currently, there are three different Dream Chaser variants that we know of, however the cargo version is about to launch and is the main focus of Sierra Space. The cargo version of the SNC Dream Chaser is called the Dream Chaser Cargo System, or DCCS, and after development completes, planned to happen late this year, will fly resupply flights to the ISS under NASA's Commercial Resupply Services 2 program. Featuring an expendable cargo module mounting solar panels, the spacecraft will be capable of returning 1,750 kilograms or 3,860 pounds to Earth while undergoing maximum range reforces of 1.5 Gs. Focusing on the design, this cargo variant will have folding wings. This is because in order to meet CRS-2 guidelines, the cargo Dream Chaser needed to have folding wings and fit within a 5 meter diameter payload fairing, in contrast to the crew Dream Chaser, which is intended to launch without a fairing. The ability to fit into a payload fairing allows the cargo version to launch on any sufficiently capable vehicle. While the Dream Chaser spacecraft is reusable, parts of it will be expended on a normal mission. Specifically, an expendable cargo module will launch attached to the back of the spacecraft, expanding the cargo uplift capacity and supporting the disposal of up to 3,250 kilograms or over 7,000 pounds of trash. The total uplift is planned for 5,000 kilograms or 11,000 pounds pressurized and 500 kilograms or 1,100 pounds unpressurized. The expendable cargo module is called Shooting Star. One of the most important parts of a reusable spacecraft is its heat shield. This not only is important for protection of the spacecraft and cargo during reentry, but also for turnaround time and the number of repairs or replacements needed after a mission. For these reasons, among others, Sierra Space has put a lot of time into developing an extremely high quality heat shield for the space plane. In regard to this, late last month the company tweeted saying, Sierra Space has been selected by NASA to help advance technologies related to NASA's Moon to Mars objectives with the development of a low-cost, high-temperature, reusable thermal protection system, TPS. The Dream Chaser thermal protection system is made up of silica-based tiles for most of the belly and upper portion of the heat shield, and a new composite material called Toughened Unipiece Fibrous Reusable Oxidation Resistant Ceramic, or Tough Rock, to cover the nose and leading edges. The black and white tiles across the body are positioned in specific ways to reflect heat on parts of the space plane. At its core, the Dream Chaser spacecraft is meant to shift the paradigm of LEO crew and cargo transportation. The appeal of the space plane starts with the reusable lifting body design expected to offer frequent, on-demand flight opportunities with customizable mission parameters for a variety of utilization goals. SNC's Dream Chaser offers variable internal cabin layouts, mission durations, altitudes, and inclinations within the capabilities of the lifting body. A Dream Chaser spacecraft full of completed experiments or a combination of experiments and crew are exposed to less than 2 Gs on entry. The company highlights that shorter runways can be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. Thanks to the runway landing, the space plane features immediate access to completed experiments and crew following touchdown. Back in 2019, it was announced that all six Dream Chaser CRS-2 flights would be carried into orbit by ULA's Vulcan launch vehicle, with the first Dream Chaser flight being the second Vulcan flight in late 2021. However, in 2022, Ken Shields, Zero Space's Director of Commercial Market Development, announced that the first flight would be pushed to January 2023. As of right now, the first Dream Chaser spacecraft will berth to the International Space Station no earlier than December 17th, 2023. Not long ago, August was the expected launch date, however it was recently pushed back to late this year. Since Dream Chaser is only a spacecraft, it requires a dedicated launch vehicle to get into orbit. For the initial missions, ULA's new Vulcan will be responsible. While Dream Chaser has not yet been to space, the company has completed a host of different tests trying to prepare the space plane. For example, all the way back in 2013, the first free flight occurred. Here, the test vehicle was released from the helicopter and flew the correct flight path to touchdown less than a minute later. 
However, just prior to landing, the left main landing gear failed to deploy, resulting in a crash landing. The vehicle skidded off the runway in a cloud of dust, but was found upright with the crew compartment intact and all systems inside still working in order. Unfortunately, Sierra Space cut the video right before Dream Chaser touches down on the runway. Around four years later, in 2017, the Dream Chaser test article was released from an altitude of 3,700 meters and successfully landed at Edwards Air Force Base. In addition, in early 2014, Sierra Nevada completed its wind tunnel testing. The wind tunnel testing involved analyzing the flight dynamic characteristics that the vehicle will experience during orbital ascent and reentry. Wind tunnel testing was also completed for the Dream Chaser Atlas V integrated launch system. These tests were completed at NASA's Ames Research Center, the Transonic Wind Tunnel in New York, and at NASA Langley Research Center. All of these tests were using a Dream Chaser test article named EAGLE, an engineering test article, or ETA, used for captive carry and atmospheric drop tests. The company has another test article named Ascension that is yet to be tested. Then there is Dream Chaser Tenacity, which is the first space-capable test article that will be launched late this year. Finally, images released by the company revealed DC-102, or another uncrewed variant early in its development. The originally planned Dream Chaser space system is a human-rated version designed to carry from 3 to 7 people in cargo to orbital destinations such as the ISS. It was to have a built-in launch escape system and could fly autonomously if needed. Although it could use any suitable launch vehicle, it was planned to be launched on a human-rated Atlas V and 12 rocket. Its reaction control system thrusters burned ethanol-based fuel, which is not an explosively volatile material, nor toxic, like hydrazine, allowing the Dream Chaser to be handled immediately after landing, unlike the space shuttle. As of 2020, the Sierra Nevada Corporation says it still plans to produce a crewed version of the spacecraft within the next five years. The company says it never stopped working on the crewed version and fully intends to launch it after the cargo version. In 2021, SNC reported that it received a $1.4 billion investment in Series A funding which it will use to develop a crewed version of Dream Chaser to fly astronauts by 2025. Not long ago, the company hinted at a crewed Dream Chaser with an image. The unique Dream Chaser was labeled DC-201 and featured a twin-tail fixed-wing design. The company describes Dream Chaser as a multi-mission vehicle capable of supporting a variety of LEO needs. The plan is for it to be customized for both domestic and international customers. Sierra Space has entered into agreements with multiple international space agencies. Together, they are developing technologies, applications, and missions for Dream Chaser based space systems. Dream Chaser is hoping to change how we access space with a rapidly reusable, low G space plane design. With the maiden flight scheduled to happen this December, we are not far away from watching Tenacity take flight for the first time on top of Vulcan. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.